Einstein's theory of relativity introduced the mind-bending concept that time isn't constant, but can actually slow down or speed up depending on how fast you're moving or how strong the gravity is around you. This phenomenon, called time dilation, means that a clock on a fast-moving spaceship would tick slower compared to an identical clock remaining on Earth, even though both clocks are functioning perfectly. Gravity can also stretch time, with clocks closer to massive objects like planets or black holes running slower than those farther away from gravitational influence. This isn't just theoretical. GPS satellites must constantly adjust for time dilation, as their clocks run about 38 microseconds faster each day, compared to clocks on Earth's surface due to both their speed and reduced gravitational influence. Near a black hole, time dilation becomes extreme, with time potentially slowing to a near standstill at the event horizon, the boundary beyond which nothing, not even light, can escape. The famous twin paradox illustrates this concept. If one twin travels on a high-speed journey through space while the other stays on Earth, the traveling twin would return younger than their Earth-bound sibling. Einstein's equations proved that the faster you move through space, the slower you move through time, linking these dimensions in what we now call space-time, a four-dimensional fabric that makes up our universe. Perhaps most profound is the realization that there is no universal now. Events that appear simultaneous to one observer may occur at different times for another observer moving at a different speed. Time dilation isn't just a curiosity. It's fundamental to our understanding of physics, proving that time itself is relative and dependent on our frame of reference in the universe. While we don't notice time dilation in everyday life, its effects have been precisely measured using atomic clocks, confirming Einstein's predictions and forever changing our understanding of time as not absolute but fluid and dynamic.